I am a mess. <laughs> I wish I would have been recording earlier because I asked for um, some assistance. I asked my mom for some assistance and she was like, is it going to break my nail? And I'm like, probably. <laughs> oh, you can't have them. And, and, and work on your own stuff, you know? steps forward, a hundred steps back right now. I just want to go sailing. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the mess from this angle, but it's a mess. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm frustrated. So I might have to redo some like connections on the wiring and put a new battery in. But uh, I think that's it mercifully. Otherwise, I have a lot of other work to do. I have some fiberglassing to do on the bottom, put some new bottom paint on there again before I even get in the water, and um, fix the rudder. That's important. I have to put the mast back on and see if my sails are still viable. Yay raw, here we go. Uh, you can tell how high up the water line was in my boat because my paddles were tipped down uh, in it, so that's fun. They feel fine, solid, so at least they weren't in the water for that long, thanks to someone else who stays in the boatyard. She came and um, put a hose in here and um, siphoned the water out as much as she could. It still, you can see it right up to the bottom of the floors, so I'm taking breaths outside the boat. Uh, let's try to get this fucking bilge pump running some fucking how. There's standing water inside this box. Glad I didn't put any photos in it, but it doesn't bode well for the tools. Those are my degrees <laughs> right there. Um, the tools are underneath here. Uh, doesn't look good, guys. With the truck, it's pumping it out pretty quickly. This is my drinking water tank. Har har. Mom's on the boat. You should be documenting all the water coming out. It is terrible. There's so much. Yeah. But yeah. said that 50 gallon tank was overfilled. Yeah, and then the so bilge is bigger out. than that, so. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 50 gallons there, and who knows how many gallons in the bilge. Bye! Gross. It's, um, it's moldy. As fuck. Found a couple dollars for my troubles. TV isn't cracked. I don't think it probably still turns on. It's been soaked, but oh yeah, there's mud on the cable. Um, I don't know, but judgment time. It was really heavy with water. Oh, these look bad. Oh, it's bad. Everything looks <laughs> rusted. Look at those soaking as <laughs> Cleek goes. <laughs> Everything is so wet. I'm gonna have to come up with a better storage solution. God, you can see my cushion dripping that I just pulled out. What a mess. I just have to deal. I mean, it is what it is, right? I can't. Crying isn't gonna fix it. I'm the only thing that's gonna fix it. It just feels like I'm back at square one. I know I'm not, I've done so much, and you know what? My through hole fittings have held. 
I need to get under here and try to exercise them and make sure they still move and oil them. I have a long, long, long to-do list. Yeah, these are pretty messed up. Okay, oop. Pole saw, full of water. the most vital components there in this chair area somewhere. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Do you think these uh, filters are still good? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Yep, everything's a mess. I just have to throw in real quickly that this this is okay somehow. <coughs> it was sitting down on the seat um, on the side that had the water in it. So the box got a little bit warped, a little bit messy, but like the instruction books, everything, um, the fucking game board somehow is all right. Lucky game. I guess I'm keeping this <laughs> on my adventures. This ticket to the ride is uh, pretty easy in every language, I guess. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so it might not be all hope is lost. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I think I think I can make this work. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rejoice too soon because I haven't seen the structure inside yet, but might be okay, guys. How? Okay, the boat fell off. My, my glass jewelry box is still intact. My I was so worried about this. My late grandmother gave me this, and <laughs> I can't believe it's still intact. Oh, I'm such a crybaby! This is driving me insane, but, um, yeah, still here. Um, my sails look fine. The sail bags are just the same amount of mildewy that they were before. Um, I'm still gonna take them out and air them out, but... <laughs> wow. Alright. Nothing here is, like, super valuable, but... It's all still here, and and I can't believe it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, time to open this baby up and see if my seacocks are still operational. And the rudder is cracked now, right in here. That's some exposed fiberglass. Man, keel got some pretty good damage. Okay. We're gonna have to do some sanding repairs here. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just count on doing some all new bottom paint, I guess. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. That definitely was not there or not showing before the storm. Some pretty serious gouges here. Definitely gonna have to buy some fiberglass. Looks like my rub rail is a little bit cracked apart here.
going to have to set that right if it even still runs. It looks okay. A little scuffed, but okay. There's more, of course there's more. This is just paint, this is okay. So much for my new paint job. <laughs> okay, only 1% battery, so I'll make this really quick. I got this hooked up, but it's dark and I don't want a chance hooking it up and like having something catch on fire because it's not hooked up right anymore because of the fall. So I'm not gonna hook it up until I get here like tomorrow or the next day. I checked on the structure, it seems good. I'm moving forward with repairs, huzzah.